All right, I just received this full-size folding wireless keyboard in the mail, and um, we're going to go ahead and unbox this bad boy. This is what the box looks like, and let's go see if we can find a spot where we have to pull it apart. Looks like right here. Ah. Okay, there we go. Let's see, this comes off. All right, nice. Looks good, right? So let's go ahead and get her out of there. It comes, looks like it comes with some attachments. We'll put this over here. Yep, you got a USB cord with it. And it's a USB-C. Excellent, because that's what we need for my uh, computer. Let's take that. I'm not sure what this is. All right, these are the three items that come in the box. It's got a holder, it's got the keyboard, and it's got a USB-C to USB regular plug. And it also comes with a user's manual. All right, so anyway, the way that this works is you pull this out and you have this little connector here. You can move it all the way back. You've got different uh, spots that you can set it in like that, depending on the attitude that you want to have your, um, your uh, keyboard at. You notice there's a little rub rubber thing in here and little grippers there. And then this is supposed to keep it from sliding. So if you set it down like that, it's supposed to sit there. Let me move this stuff. And then your keyboard just opens up like that, right? Bam. And there's your mouse. Check it out. It's got different, uh, tells you like right, I mean, I'm sorry, it tells you right and left. And then you have these modes up here. There's your USB plug-in area right there. And then, you know, this is just like any other keyboard. It's almost exactly like my Mac keyboard, right? It's got little little pieces of uh, rubber here so when you set it over it they don't smash on each other's it kind of protects it I'll turn it around so you guys can see this so when when I turn it you see how that bends like that same thing on this side so it's, it looks like it's put together pretty good now to put it in this little thing you just kind of slide it down there like that and then you know some people like I guess to have it that way but you know I think that's pretty much it there so your USB you would put right in here just like that. And then you plug this into your power source or your computer to charge it. Or maybe you could just connect it to the computer. Um, this is supposed to work good with iOS because that's what I told my head. And also this thing here, this is kind of interesting. If you wanted to, you could use that for a, this could be a phone holder too. I mean, you got dual purpose here. Isn't she beautiful? Or you could go that way with it. So, you know, that's, that's basically it. This is what you get in the box. You get your keyboard, you get that stand, and then you get this USB-C to USB. I'll show you how to charge the foldable keyboard. If you look here, you're gonna see there's a USB-C port. What I do is I take the USB-C, I just plug it in, just like that, bam. And then you see this light up, and when that goes out, you're ready to rock. So, if you take a look at this, I plugged it in up here. It goes to this block here, which is plugged in back here. So we're just gonna wait for that to charge. And when it's done, uh, we should see that light go out. Okay, we came back a couple hours later. And if you notice, that light has gone out. So that means that this keypad, this foldable uh, keypad is now completely charged. If you want, you can just go ahead and remove the uh, USB-C from there. And pull it off. There we go. And so there's the USB C, it's off and it's ready to go. And then we can go ahead and use this. I'll just put this back there. Okay, so here's our foldable keypad. Notice how it's got this nice rubber thing, it keeps it from sliding. Um, this side folds up too, right? Right there is a USB C that's plugged into a block over here. I could just unplug that right now. We'll move that out of the way for now. All right, so before you do anything, you're going to open this up and you're going to look right down there. You see it says off and on. we got to turn it on. So once we turn it on, we're ready to go. But I want to show you these keys. This is the FN key. This is the pairing key here, okay? So there's a, let's just go ahead and first, let's go in here. Let's open up Bluetooth. Let's turn Bluetooth on, all right? So now we got our Bluetooth on. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you turn on the power which we did, right? Bam, that's done. The next thing is you're gonna press FN, and then you're gonna press one, two, three. So we're gonna press FN right here. Then we're gonna go up here, one, two, three, okay? 
Next, you're going to press FN and pairing at the same time. And you should see a blue blinking light on that uh, one on the right hand corner. Then if you look on your iPad, you should see the uh, keyboard show up on your Bluetooth. It's trying to get on there. It's spinning. I wonder if I just touch it like that. If that'll help. <laughs> oh, look at that. It did help. It's connected. Check it out. We're in. All right, great. Let's get out of there. Right now, I'm charging it. This is a USB-C plugged into a block, and you can see it hasn't fully charged yet. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up settings. All right, and if you look, we're in Bluetooth, and you can see it's not connected. To connect it, what we've got to do, you know, once you've paired it, of course, is come to the right top corner side, and you're going to see an on and off switch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that to on right there. Watch. I can get my finger on it. Bam. And then if we look up here, it should connect. And you can see it's connected there. And that's how you know that you're ready to go and you can use the keyboard. Now, if you want to turn it off, you just come back and just push it back like this. And now it's on off. And if you watch here, it'll disconnect itself in a couple seconds. And it's not connected. All right. And that's how you do it. I'll show you how to navigate with this trackpad on your wireless foldable keyboard, Bluetooth. Um, so you're going to notice when I touch the pad, this ball appears, right? So I can navigate around uh, my home screen here to different apps. When I run over an app, it like kind of like gets bigger. So let's just go over pages. I'm just going to set it over pages. Once I do that, all I do have to do is just tap the pad and it opens up. And then I can do whatever I'm going to do in that app. Now to close it, what I would do is pull my cursor down, I guess you would call it. And it highlights that little thing. Let me show you again. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling it down. And then when it highlights that, all I have to do is touch the pad and it will uh, contract it. And there it is back on my home screen. And that's how you open up an application. You want to do one more? Let's go. Let's open up Translate. We'll go over to Translate. See, I'm right there at Translate. I'm going to slide over. See how it got a little bit bigger? And I'm just going to touch it. It opens up. If I, if I want to, you know, after I get finished using it, I pull it down to the bottom, highlight that little line there, and then just touch the pad and it closes it. That's how you open and close an application on your iPad Pro using your foldable wireless keyboard. Peace out.